Ladies and gentlemen, John Early. John Early. Early, yeah, just like the word. John Early. Yeah. I gotta tell you, Toots, I have really been looking forward to this. I have to say, I just don't wanna get out in front of it, like, I'm such a huge fan. Obviously, your legacy in the comedy community is unmatched, and you never booked me. I didn't take it personally. I knew that was, I meant, it meant that I had to try harder, try harder, you know, polish the act. Yeah, well, you know, life isn't a smooth road. It's, it's bumpy and we're here now yeah. and timing is everything. Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm sorry if I ever said no, because right now it's just a big fat yes on every level. Thank uh, you, in Mitchell. fact, let's talk, you let's know? Talk. You weren't polished when we first started. You know, okay. when you rolled out onto the scene, you had some, you know, some feelings about what comedy was and wasn't supposed to be where you were at. I don't know if we need to get into it right now, but. Where did you find your truth? Where did you find yourself? Because you're on a real roll now. You're in a real sweet spot. How did you get there? Mitzi, I went gay. I just went gay. Listen, I don't do straight men, so this is gonna yeah, work yeah. out real well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Sexually, I'm sorry, I'm just confused if are we... Well, I think sex ruins everything. So if you and I have companionship, yeah. we've got it all. I I, a classic kind of old Hollywood marriage of convenience. You know, let's just share a bed and a kitchen and some movie time because every time sex enters the picture, it gets the dynamic all funny. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean the funny funny. I mean the annoying heavy funny. I agree. So... If yeah, you're I open agree. to I companionship, agree. I am. Okay. One thing that I really want to talk to you about, because this is something that if you're a child actor, and I was one. Really? Oh, God, I've been doing the comedy bit since I was in diapers, and that's not a euphemism. Anywho. What were you in? Oh, dog food commercials, cereal oh. commercials, you know, William Hart's daughter in uh, Altered States. Talk about being surprised when you see the end result. You were with a manager yes. as an adult that actually was not an adult. Children. How'd that happen? She was actually an agent. She was the only agent that came to my comedy showcase, I mean, college showcase, and signed me because at that age, you know, 22, I was a little more gaunt. <laughs> and she thought I could maybe like audition for teen shows like 90210 or, you know what I mean? Well, but all of her clients were like five years old. Every time I go in her office, there were like just a line of like five year olds and their moms and then me with like newly thinning hair. Okay. And she always had an open bottle of salad dressing on her desk. <laughs> she sounds like my kind of broad yeah. actually. Yeah. Little Hidden Valley, you know what. Now, where do you currently reside? Los Angeles. What's the number one difference between Tennessee and Los Angeles? Mm. Well, there is a kind of sunniness you know, in both places. Yeah. Uh, kind of smiling through the pain, if you will. Yeah. Yes, it's not very mitzy. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Just with COVID, careful. <sighs> yeah. That way. I would love if you would sound off because I want to hear from you about a few things in pop culture. Let's sound off. I'll throw in some too, so you're not alone here. Let's do, uh, start with Kim and Pete. You know, everyone's talking about them. I'd watch. I would too. Right? There was a shot of her in a bikini the other day. I was like, yes, I am gay. There was no question. It was, she was what? so hot. Yeah. I mean, it put the string in string bikini. I was like, I see everything. Yeah. Okay, and just like that, the follow-up to Sex and the City. Well, I'm re-watching the original series right now. Oh, you're going back? It's heavenly. I have a controversial take. As in like, it's every facet like a of a woman. Like, I miss season one, season two, when it's like in the shape of the old TVs. You know what I mean? Right. And it's like talking to the camera and now Breaking it's Breaking down the fourth screen. wall. Yeah. And it's so like, everything now is so widescreen to fit widescreen TVs. And I'm like, I, I miss the simplicity of the box and them at brunch and like Samantha, Charlotte, Carrie, Miranda, you know what I mean? You're looking at ratio. Yeah. That was not what I was expecting. This interview could be a four, three. Uh, cauliflower disguised as a carb. I'm so sick of this. I can't even take it. What is your take? No. Thank you. This is just a hard no. It's, 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 what's your binding agent? You know what I mean? It's just, it falls apart. Cauliflower crust pizza. I'm like, you mean mush. I'm like, oh, a cauliflower steak. Yeah. I'm supposed to get a 
about this. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I was thinking oh, a steak. Hell. That's hell when they try to pass off a thick slice of cauliflower. Give me some A1 and a nice New York. That's what I'm looking for. Keep read receipts on text messages. Hostile. So weird. So weird. Because here's the thing. Everyone has the right. We are not meant to be this connected to this many people at all times of the day. It is so unnatural. You absolutely have the right. If you see a text that you don't want to respond to, you have the right to walk away, take a week, and respond. You know what I mean? So what do everyone I say? Everyone just... Everyone can like... What do I say to all the leeches that are coming out of my phone and sucking on me dry? It's like, oh, are you thirsty? Do you want the blood? I'm so sorry. You reached out to me and now I got to bleed for you? you. You don't have to say anything. You don't have to say anything. I think you just, you respond in your own time or don't. So I can be absolved of the guilt? By me, yeah. Right now. Oof, okay. <laughs> this is crazy. Dating apps. A necessary evil. I would say, here's what I would say. If you're doing the dating apps, just do the most kind of basic kind of transactional like thing to get you in person. You know what I mean? Don't, I would say don't spend too long chatting. <sighs> <laughs> uh, do you think that uh, there's hope out there for in people? In general, no. Yeah. I, yeah. I think, yeah, I think I did a rhetorical question yeah. on you again. We're hurtl I, hurtling towards the... Okay. Uh, the term chuggy. This is one thing from the kids that I've adopted. Yeah. It just means, you know, you're out. You're uncool. Yeah. It's over yeah, for yeah. you. You're not on trend. You're dusty. I wonder how you feel about it, but I, I, I feel like I'm coming into my own chugginess and like and, and embracing it. If you're trying to stay cool, you know, past your 20s, you're not going to look cool. I mean, I think you're getting emotional. I just see a little. Well, I just appreciate it. You know, when when do we stop trying? I, I, I look at women out there, you know, licking the salt lick of the fountain of youth, trying to tighten. And I'm mm, just like, crank. I you like know, to call it. listen, honey, you're lucky to be alive. Yeah, yeah. You're not pushing tulips. Yeah. Relax. Listen, I got to tell you, John, I. Uh, I like you. Uh, thank you. I don't like a lot of people, you know. I feel like I can be myself with you. That's, uh, it's, again, it's an honor. It's an honor having never been booked by you. It means a lot now. Well, now you're booked in my bedroom if you'd like, you know. what? Still not on stage. Here's what I do with everyone. Can you make me do a spit take? Oh. That's how we end every every episode. Okay. <clears throat> now I'll put put it in my mouth. <laughs> okay. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay. Um. Uh. <laughs> okay. I got it. Just a classic, just go physical, John. John, go you're physical. hired. Please, please, please be on my stage, Toots. It would be an honor for me. Likewise. John, it's an all-time pleasure. It's, it's, been, it's been good. It's been real good. Yeah. All right. Let's do this more often. Yeah. In my bedroom. Oh. This has been Kibitzing with Mitzi Banana Moore. I am here with none other than John Early. A real doll. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Wow.